Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today uh, I want to speak more regarding pets because they are new addition to the game. And I want to share my concerns regarding pets. I have some questions and maybe you guys have same opinion. Maybe you guys think something differently. It will be better if we're gonna communicate, right? So regarding my concerns, in my opinion, uh, war pets are for people who are going to spend some money in the game. At least right now, it seems like uh, progressing through war pet system is for people who are going to spend. And uh, I will show you examples through the ecosystem of the war pets. And I think everybody will understand that some things are just for people who want to spend. Like, let's get something to very basic, right? Uh, spots to capture a pet. Uh, like, when you when you open the... When you get the update regarding war pets, you have, like, six um, empty slots. One is gifted by the game. And after that, uh, you just want to spend gems in order to get simply just spot, right? And for a... Free-to-play players, I don't know, uh, it's really important to save up some gems because it's really hard for us to uh, get gems in the game and spending gems just because to have an empty spot is concerning. And regarding the main thing is a skills for the pets and there is some trick, right? For example, if we want to get a new skill for my war pet, Let's say I have a Maniac Might, right? It's I have owned, and I just can click on Learn. And uh, at first I thought that it would just uh, it will be added into the empty slot, but it's totally not true. It's random. It might add to one, and it, the system will tell you, do you want to exchange the skills? Sometimes it adds to two, sometimes it's to three. So we have to get lucky in order to get the new skill to the spot of where it's nothing, on an empty spot. So imagine how many... Um, what's the name of this coin? I don't remember. How many coins do you need to have in order to get a new skill for your warpit? Right, it's like, uh, and also if you want to simply get some coins, there is only one way, oh, no, no, but two ways. One way is to spend some money, and second way is to get skills and sell, and it's a really, really long process. Also, I don't know who said that it's really easy to get the legendary pet in this game, it's not true. Like, uh, I have been trying to get a legendary pet, it's, it's really, really hard. So... Uh, that's my concerns, right? Like even spots, even skills to get, uh, you need to pay money in order to be able to change anything. And even if you have money, you need to get lucky. So imagine how it affects a free-to-play player because we generally get one way, for example, even legions, we pick one legion and we progress through one legion because we don't have the resources, we don't have the gems to upgrade many different things. So in this ecosystem, we don't even have a way to generate uh, the main coin of the system uh, like a free-to-play, just playing the game, we need to spend. So this is my concern. I think I, I wish there will be many updates regarding war pets and there will be many content for a free-to-play players to progress through this system. Uh, but how it is right now, it seems like it's for people who are spending money. Uh, if you have a same opinion, I will be more than glad to read it. Uh, thanks for watching. That's uh, that's what's the main idea of the of the uh, video to share my opinion because a lot of people got confused because it was a really big update uh, and there was a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to find out. And the more I play, more I think that it's for the spenders. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked my content, uh, if you do, pr please press like button, uh, if not, press unlike button, and see you soon, bye bye.